man was made to be high for them to do high things. A young man said he wanted to tell his father that I don't want to go to school anymore. And he picked his friend said, he said, I cannot tell my father that my father will beat me up. And his friend gave him a go weed to smoke. And he immediately smoked the weed. He looked at his friend, said, Why are you small like this? His friend said, Yes, he's walking. Call your father now. And he picked the phone boldly and said to his father, Listen, I don't want to go to school anymore. I think I'm a musician. He told his father, and his father wanted to say, Well, he caught the cock. The truth is, you are meant to be high. When you high, you begin to really see your full potential. You, you've not seen, no, I'm not joking. That's the truth. You don't know what you can do until you high. I'm not saying it go high. <laughs> Paul said, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Man was created to be high. There's people called neurosurgeons they teach you, or brain doctors, they teach you how to increase the capacity of your brain. There are people that teach you how to increase concentration. They say your concentration is like a knife. The more you know how to maintain so, a, a, a thinking for long, the more you'll be having, you're, you are sharpening your concentration. The more you can think, meditate for one thing for a long time, your concentration is getting sharp. They said the average human being have not touched 3% of his brain power. So there are things that high you. And you come to the high level of yourself. You've not seen that level. One thing that high you, once you know you are Christ, begin to hire you and you'll be doing what Christ does. Do you know what if somebody say, do you know mostly your wife or your husband or your father your mother, say do you know you are a fool and you cannot make it do you see how you grab that word and it really make you a fool, it's the same way if I say you are Christ and you accept it, it will take you to the highness of yourself you need to hide if the God you are serving is most high, you need to eye. Once you eye, once you eye this version of yourself, this concept of yourself, many people don't want to eye. You are see, you are see smoking cigar. There's a cigar. <laughs> There's a cigar of the gospel. There's a soft drink of the gospel. Soft drink, cold drink of the gospel. And there's excess wine of the gospel. There's the ego realm of the gospel. Once you take it, it will high you. And you begin to do high things. Then they'll be calling you highness. Say you are <laughs> you are you are highness. Royal highness. I'm praying for you. May you high. That is connected to your source, the highness. That same guy, when he finished smoking, he go, he told his father straight, and he left the house at age 16. And he started playing music. And while he was playing music, another person saw him and offered him cocaine. When he hide that one, he started telling that person that was with him, he said, I see people here, why women here? Oh, there's one that will take you to make you talk. There's one that will make you see. You don't know that things are around you. What Elijah did to his servant, he hid him so that he can see. That he said, Why people many here? That one I said, No, 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 it's fine. Take this one. He said, You are paranoid now. Use this one to calm yourself. After two weeks, he was addicted, he was using that. He could not live without it again. Anytime you wake up, his body is shaking. 
there is a way you have to be addicted to God. To this, in this realm I'm talking about, once you enter, you don't want to come back again. Just as drugs hold the drug addict, he can't eat. He can't do anything. The Holy Ghost is like that. Oh God. If you don't learn what I'm telling you, others will be soaring as ego and seeing things. Why some will be moving like chicken on the floor? You need to hide, 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 hide. Anytime you, if you hide that chicken, you will know that you can use that wings to fly. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you hide the chicken, one day the chicken will say, I believe I can fly. <laughs> he will fly! Because he's high. When our guy was running away with Ishmael, the time came, there was no water for them to drink, and the baby was crying, and an angel appeared, and the angel said, I heard the cry of the lad. Creativity is you coming to the comprehension, awake, or to see what God has already done. It didn't dig well there, it didn't create any well there. All the miracle you read in the Bible that Moses parted the sea, all these things, God has already done them. I'm telling you, Daniel was in the lion's den, God has already done it. Shetak in the furnace, all these things, God has already done it. You are only seeing them that they created the miracle that nobody has ever seen before. No. <laughs> they could hide and reveal what was already around us. There are many things around you already. I'm not saying God will give you again. There's already things. Everything you are looking for is in you. Is with you. Man does not like, mostly in Africa, we don't like responsibility. Like what I'm teaching you now is like making you feel responsible. You, you like me to say today as I pray for you. And hey, uh, I know you have gone to many pastors that have not done anything. Today, you, you never tried this one. You'll be shouting, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a lie. It's a lie. In fact, I can only do more when we know ourselves. The only place Jesus found himself doing more was when people have faith already. I can't you think? Think. Your faith has made you whole. Not my power has made you whole. Oh Christ. Is it blind Bartimaeus? Your faith has made you well. The woman with the issue of blood, daughter, your faith has made you well. The Syrophonical woman, your faith has made you well. It's not that hey, now you know Jesus. You know, now you know that I'm not Jesus. You know, I know you have gone everywhere. The Pharisees, they have tried. They, nobody can. Uh -huh, now you have come to meet me. I will show you, say I get power. No, your faith. And the Bible says, where he found no faith, he could dare do no mighty work. It's not in my life that Jesus will make that statement. The Christ in me will not make that statement to say he could do no mighty work through David because of his unbelief. God forbid. I rather die. I'm, I'm pushing you. You rather go and dig grave, enter, than for Jesus to say, I could do no mighty work through you because of your unbelief. Oh, I'm pushing you to the wall. Bounce back. <laughs> Bounce back. He could dare do no mighty work because of their unbelief. 